Hi, I'm Hugo and welcome to The Model Gene. What attracted me to going to Seoul was the ability to spend a long amount of time in a foreign country, um, which is quite a difficult thing to do through other means. Um, so yeah, by taking this modelling contract, um, I was able to spend two and a half months there and really sort of um, like embed in the culture a bit um, in a way that you can't do on a like, normal tourist trip. What was the process like getting signed to an agency in Seoul? So when I just had decided to go to Seoul, uh, the first step was to find an agency which involved emailing a bunch of different agencies and they got back to us with uh, their contract offers. Um, and when we decided to take one of those, that was based on um, their general vibe and uh, their guarantee, which is um, the sort of a guarantee of pay for your time there. Um, so once we confirmed that with uh, my agency, which was Ever Models, uh, we um, they then made an application uh, to the Korean sort of government. Um, which was an application for visa, visa eligibility. And then once that got approved, they sent that to me and I had to send that along with my passport to the Korean embassy in London. Um, and they approved my visa for me. And then the agency booked a flight. And off I went. What was it like flying to South Korea during a pandemic? So I arrived in Korea uh, in January 2022. Um, and they still had quite a few COVID restrictions in place. Um, so when I arrived, I went, had to go straight into hotel quarantine, which was 10 days, but reduced to seven while I was there, luckily. And during that time, I wasn't allowed out of my room except for a test, COVID test on day two and day six, the day before my release. Um, and... Yeah, I was basically in my room and then three times a day they would knock on the door and leave me a meal, which um, usually ended up being cold by the time <laughs> it had reached us. Um, but it was a really great way to sort of get an introduction to Korean food because each day it was something different. Um, and yeah, it was all like traditional Korean food with like a little throw in of like American like mini like hot dog or something. And after quarantine? After I left uh, quarantine, I went to the agency and met the whole team, which was really nice. They all came and shook my hand in a very non-Korean way. Um, but I think they just wanted to make me feel welcome. And then I went to my apartment and I was, I was staying in a, mod a model apartment owned by the agency, which had uh, three rooms and uh, four other models, three other models, um, and they were all from around the world as well, which was great. What were the castings like? Castings in Korea are quite different to Europe because uh, the agency drive you, someone from the agency drives you to the casting. Um, so you just go to the agency before the casting and they take all the models for that casting. Um, in one of their cars and then the manager will sort of talk to the client um, and ask whatever needs to be done um, and often you uh, are fitted in their clothes. Any tips for models to prepare for castings? I think uh, my main tip is about pre-posing um, which was a totally new concept to me uh, when I got there um, which is at the casting after they take Polaroids they ask you to free pose and so if you, if you are planning to go just to sort of get in front of the mirror and practice doing a bunch of poses uh, so you just prep for that because um, they yeah, had the first time I got asked to do that I was like oh, okay you just you have to sort of come up with some poses so you just yeah if you plan that in advance. What were the different jobs you did? Uh, most of the jobs I did were e-commerce um, maybe sort of three quarters of them um, which was pretty similar to your, your standard e-com day. Um, 
and not super busy. Um, yeah, they were all um, pretty chilled out. Um, I did uh, an editorial for the official home, um, which was a really fun shoot. Um, editorials I find are often more fun because it's more about the images you're taking, um, so you get to be more creative. Um, and I'm sure you'll see on the screen. So. <laughs> And then I did a couple of uh, digital runways, uh, which was sort of a sort of COVID um, effect thing, I guess. Um, where it was like a runway show, but it was all just um, on film. Uh, and one of those was down in a, near a city called Mokpo on the south coast, uh, and it was on this island uh, that's called Purple Island. Um, it's a bit of a tourist attraction um, and it's just everything's purple there and that was um, yeah, a really nice way to see some of the countryside because I got trained down there. What about free time to explore? I had a few Korean friends from school um, so that was really nice to be able to see them and go out and explore the city with them. They sort of showed me around um, some different places. Um, and then I also, um, yeah, sort of explored with the other models when we had a free schedule. It was quite hard to sort of plan days off because you don't really get your schedule until the day before. So you don't know you've got a free day until the day before. Um, but I managed to go hiking a few times. Seoul is sort of, surrounded by mountains so um you literally like beyond the suburbs it's just mountain so you, it, hiking is really easy and yeah that was really fun um yeah i can't remember what else. favorite part of your entire trip um i think my favorite part of the trip was just the fact that i was able to spend such a long time in a foreign country um it meant that I could sort of really get to know the place um, and kind of feel like a local on the, for, a, for a little bit. Um, and yeah, just be able to sort of slowly get to know their culture um, and all their sort of intricacies. Would you recommend other models to go to Seoul for work? Yeah, I, I definitely recommend it to anyone. It's such a unique experience. So yeah, go for it. <laughs>